Hello my friend and welcome to my channel. Today I've got Essence Play With My Mint and Queen Plate number 62. I've used American Classics as my base coat and this is Play With My Mint. That's starting over by the way, the base coat, losing my mind. So I love the brushes on these Essence Gel Polish. I just, I'm in love with them and this color is perfect. It's like this beautiful mint color, real light, nice formula. I'm in love with it. I am going to cap my free edge here. And like I said in my previous videos, you guys are going to have to pardon the junky skin up around all of my nails. I don't know what's going on. I'm having some issues. I mean, I'm oiling, I'm lotioning, uh, everything, and they're still just funky. That second coat makes this fully opaque. I'm going to top it with the Pro FX Quick Dry Top Coat. You see, I got a little boo-boo on my pinky nail finger over there. Not on the nail itself, but on the skin around it. I just, I'm telling y'all, it's just, we went from cold and having to deal with, you know, cold weather, which affects your skin, and now it's crazy stupid hot, and that seems to be messing with me too, so <laughs> I'm just going to keep oiling it. Hi, Woody, how you doing? He's such a good dude. There we go. Here's a swatch photo of that one on its own, Play With My Mint. I am using the Burt's Bees around my cuticles today and the Pro FX Sticky Base Coat on the nails I'm going to stamp on. I'm not doing all of them today. I'm doing three. I'm working on it. This is Queen Plate number 62. This is an old one in my collection. I have no idea when I got it a long, long time ago, and I'll be using the Queen Stamper and Scraper. I'm using this... Um, Sally Hansen Insta Dry Crayola Polish, and that's that seaweed one. Oh, this manicure, as basic and simple as it is, just rocked my world, y'all. I loved these colors together. Loved, loved this one. Even on those short little nails, I just kept staring at it and looking at it. It's so pretty. Gotta get this plate scooted up on the mat a little bit more. And this is another reason why I like using this little mat, is the plate kind of sticks to it so it's not sliding around. I like that. So here we go. We're going to stamp on another one. I just, ugh. So much fun. This is just such a summery, it's a good crossover between spring and summer manicure, in my opinion. The colors are just perfect. So here we go with the last stamping. Plop that image right there, tapping whatever's trying to fly away. I am going to clean up the excess with the tape, and I want you guys to see this. Look, I got all of it up. I'm not going to have to use any acetone at all. There we go. I'm going to top it with the Posh Top Coat and seal this in. I did not use a smudge-free base coat. I'm just using a generous amount of Posh. Being sure to cap my free edge. And I do hope you love this one. I think Woody liked it. He got to come in and visit. Here's my swatch photo. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about this one. I want to thank you for watching. And until next time, be good to yourself.